Evaluating and Synthesizing Literature In developing a perspective on a topic based on the literature, your challenge will be to come up with new insights. This involves synthesizing the literature, bringing together sources that you have gathered into a coherent whole, attempting to explain discrepancies among sources, and suggesting a new course of research based on your conclusions about the topic as well as the implications. Implications are suggestions about what people should do based on the available research. To write a literature synthesis, you must first determine which sources are worth including. This involves taking the annotated bibliography a step further. In an annotated bibliography, you will have identified numerous sources about your topic, summarized them, and evaluated their quality and utility for your research. For a literature synthesis, you will select only those sources that are higher quality and have strong relevance to your research question. You should group the articles according to similarities and focus, and then compare and contrast the findings of these studies. It can be helpful to use a matrix initially to organize your sources. This will help to highlight the similarities and differences among studies' outcomes and among authors' points of view. A matrix might look like this. In this example, each row would represent a particular idea or claim. For example, if you were writing about the effects of standardized testing in schools, two claims you might come across would be that standardized testing promotes school improvement, but that it increases teacher stress. If you had three sources that cover these topics, you would describe what the findings or arguments are in each source regarding that particular idea or claim. Once you begin to see patterns, you can identify some conclusions about the topic. In many cases, the research will be mixed. Not all studies will show the same outcome, so you must be prepared to explain why this might be. Furthermore, you will need to identify some important questions that the literature raises. Thus, the general structure of a literature synthesis begins with an introduction that presents the research topic and question, with some background information and or definitions of key terms. Next, the research on the topic is presented, with similarities and differences highlighted and explained. Finally, the synthesis closes with an acknowledgement of unanswered questions that future research must answer. Implications of the research and recommendations might also be included if these are warranted by the evidence presented. For example, let's say your research question is, do social stories improve pro-social behavior in children with autism? In reviewing the literature, you found several theoretical and practical articles describing this intervention. You also found a few empirical articles that present data suggesting that social stories were helpful for individual children. However, you also found a couple of articles indicating that the intervention did not change children's behavior at all. Your task would be to synthesize all of this information into a summary of what social stories are and their use, evidence supporting the intervention, and evidence against the intervention, an explanation of why the evidence is mixed, and a conclusion about social stories with emphasis on what additional research is needed to answer questions that cannot be resolved from the existing research. A particularly sophisticated form of synthesis involves finding the truth in both sides of an issue, then identifying a middle path, compromise, or a third perspective, bringing in a different framework for understanding the issue. This is part of dialectical thinking. Although this is not a required part of a literature synthesis, it can be helpful to think about what each side of an issue is missing. This could point the way to new insights. Your ultimate goal as a researcher is to find some new angle or new perspective to investigate, some aspect that other researchers have neglected to look at or question that they have failed to answer. By synthesizing the literature, you will justify a future study to answer a specific research question.